Hello, I'm Evan Powell. Just want to say thank you very much, Panaves, for this award. I'm very happy to accept it on behalf of Nexenta, Nexenta Systems, and our team here at Nexenta. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to say a few words uh, about Nexenta and about some of the challenges we faced and have started to overcome, and some of the challenges we foresee. But what do we expect to be uh, roadblocks in the future? Congratulations to Fanaves for this uh, great anniversary. And again, thank you all. Uh, particular thanks to, to Emily Kuntz, who of course was uh, managing director at the time that we received the funding from Fanaves. And of course to Professor uh, Nueno, uh, who amongst other things was a professor of mine and of course uh, helped found or did found uh, Fanaves. So a little bit about Nexenta quickly. I think you have some data there about us. Founded the company back in 2005, but at that time it was really an open source project. It wasn't until 2007 when I came aboard that the commercial go-to-market plan for the product and for the company emerged. We started selling in 2008 and now about two and a half years later, we have about 2,000 commercial deployments. So very rapid growth. And what we do is open storage. So storage is quite likely the largest market in information technology. It's literally storing information. And what we do is we take a more open approach to storing companies' data. We're a software company. We provide open storage software right around the world. And we're one of the fastest growing storage companies uh, ever according to analysts like ESG. So I have been asked to give some advice to some of the entrepreneurs in the room. So keep in mind that this advice is, is worth what you pay for it. It's none of you have paid to hear this. Uh, keep that in mind. But just some quick thoughts. First and foremost, persistence. Never give up. You can't blink. You as an entrepreneur are going to encounter some things as you grow the company. We're now about 66 people. Uh, and the challenges continue to change. You're going to encounter some things that you never anticipated. And you can't blink, you can't back down, you can't give up. Ask people their advice, find the best solution at the time, and keep moving, is, is my advice. The second point is everybody obsesses, at least new entrepreneurs, about the idea. And for me, the idea is less important than the market. So think about the size of the market you're addressing, in our case, as I said, it's the largest single market in IT. Boy, does that help, right? As we make traction in this market, we're attacking a massive, massive market. So think about the market, and more in, in particular, think about your go-to market. Okay? We really thought through how can we take an approach that will allow us to get more partners, more leads, more customers dramatically faster, 10 times, 20 times, 100 times faster than competitive traditional solutions on the market. So for me, it's less about is it a better mousetrap, is it a better product, and more about can you actually get an industry to move in your direction and to play by your rules. So I think go-to-market is really critically important. Funding and cash, quite important. Funding has helped if you can generate a business that can generate cash. So we at Nexenta wouldn't be here without Fanaves. But on the other hand, we have broken even a number of times, most recently just a month ago. And the reason we did that is because we wanted to be in control of our own destiny. In a uh, journal maybe a year ago, I was quoted as saying, you know, step away from the whiteboard and start selling. It's obviously related to generating cash. You don't really know how good the product is, the team is, the go-to-market is, until you've shown an ability to generate uh, sales. And, and that's really critically important uh, from my perspective. Not, not necessarily any less important, although lower down on the list is team. You need owners. They better act like owners. What do I mean by that? They need to take ownership, responsibility for what they're doing. You cannot, as the company grows, micromanage what's happening in your company. Right? This is not going to be the Evan Powell show. This is going to be a, a big company, in this case Nexenta Systems, with lots of people who, who think for themselves 
and who actually find problems and find solutions. You've got to get a lot of entrepreneurs, especially early stage. They've got to have broad capabilities, in my opinion. It's great to get the specialist who's the world expert at point X, let's say marketing over the internet. But you need somebody who's broad enough to be able to do that and take out the trash, or to do that and talk to the customers. You, you need entrepreneurs who have broad skills and who are committed. And then this is uh, not a, a mistake, although I'm sure my accounting professors at ESA would would certainly correct me, 80% is better than 100%. What do I mean by that? I mean, time is your enemy. Get going, do something right now. Do the best you can with the information you have. And don't wait for the perfect A plus business plan. Business plans are important. Move today and really, really treat time as your enemy. Because especially early stage, the stage that Nixenta has frankly moved through at this point, it is critical that you generate some momentum around the company. The only way to do that is by moving right now to do the best you can with the information uh, that you have. And then I firmly believe it's important to get lucky. Okay? We couldn't judge the market ahead of time with perfect visibility. Right? We started years ago to help this market make a transition. And the market is making a transition and, and for reasons well beyond our control. So you've got, you've got to recognize that as a startup, you can do all these things right and a lot else right as well, but you need luck to have the, the amount of wind in your sails, the amount of momentum that we have at Nexenta uh, right now. So stay humble uh, because you know, when, when you're lucky, all this works out. When you're not, there's really not a lot that you can do about it, in, in my opinion. So with that, I think I've gone probably over my five or six minutes. I just want to say again to Fanaves and to ESA, thank you very much. Uh, everybody here at Nexenta is really honored to be recognized. And again, congratulations to Fanaves on this anniversary.